Yes, good afternoon. I'd like to give you a little demonstration of our Adept Cobra 600 work cell we have here. This was a, uh, a surplus robot from another manufacturing company. They made circuit boards um, and they would weld little pins, gold plated pins on uh, with the welder and the uh, the tooling that you can see uh, right in front of you there. Uh, the, uh, the camera there was for inspection of the part. Uh, we had a little elevator here for uh, for a background lighting of inspecting the board and uh, to position the pins. Um, but the main deal here is uh, the Adept 600 Cobra robot. Uh, I'm going to do a demonstration here because everybody likes to see these things running around. And so oh, it's going to get a little noisy here real quick. I kick the amplifiers on. Let the power come out. Um, with this robot, we do have a vision system. You can see the uh, the camera that's uh, that's mounted on the table. Of course, some adapts they can be mounted or they can be arm mounted. Uh, to move uh, with the arm. Let me just swing this right out of the way a little bit. You can see that camera clearly. It's got a right angle lens on it. Um, these little posts right in front of me, I don't know what they were for. Um, the tooling uh, generally does not come with the robot, but uh, it happens to be mounted on here today. Uh, I had a little gripper down here. Uh, I had a little uh, a uh, board gripper and uh, a flipper mechanism. Um, I never saw the application. Uh, this came to me pretty much as is. Um, I do have a control pendant. Uh, this is strapped down uh, for the e-stop so that I don't have to, uh, to manually hold it down. Uh, of course, I wish you would hate that. Uh, also, in the side here, we do have the CIP. Uh, front panel that's mounted in there. Uh, this particular work cell uh, also comes with um, a small small PLC. Can't even see if that's an Omron or a Mitsubishi PLC. Uh, step down transformer from the 220 uh, uh, three phase and uh, a bunch of IOs and whatnot. Generally set up for a general purpose work cell that uh, that you'd be getting made up. Saves uh, a lot of time and money to have the parts together already. It is a one inch steel table. Uh, kind of general purpose, heavy duty. This is a very heavy duty work cell. All uh, steel legs and whatnot. Uh, with feet and whatnot. Um, fully guarded. The guard switches are jumpered out right now. Uh, so it already comes fully guarded. Ah, and now you can see if it isn't flipping in front of you. I know video on video is tough sometimes. Um, it has uh, powered up. The system's up. Ready to enable my power. I'm going to do this with the keyboard. rather than the pendant uh, yeah I'm sorry I put it wrong uh, this supposed to be enable PO sorry about that uh, and I have to run over and catch the uh, the power real quick over on the sorry about that uh, <laughs> down. I gotta catch that before it times out uh, and it did uh, enable the powers. I'm going to do a quick calibration. You're going to see the uh, the arms move while it does calibration. It does your little twang, whatnot. Moves around joints four and three first. One and two will then go, and then it'll go to the ready position.
and there it is finally in the ready position. Okay, I'm going to start a program, a little demonstration program called Move. And it's just going to wheel around a little bit. Let's show you the speed that this, this robot has. It is not going at 100. Oh, I'm going to get dizzy here. Sorry. Um, it is not going at 100% speed. Don't help us at monitor speed, so uh, pretty quick. So. so that's pretty much the end of my demonstration. You get to watch the little deal go round and round. <laughs> um, they are pretty slick, pretty reliable, and they'll do this all day and night, and not even take coffee break. So uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you.